Hello everyone and thanks very much for joining me. I'm Dean the Vaping Biker and we're going to be looking at something a little bit funky which I really, really do like. I've used this or various versions of this a lot over the last few months and uh, finally I get a chance to show it off to you because I'm really, really happy with it and uh, I just wanted to uh, let you guys know all about it really. Okay, so first of all what I want to say is if you're looking for a smooth, polished kind of wooden mod, this is not it. If you're um, a smooth, polished metal mod, this is not it. This is something that I think when you approach this with an open mind as a kind of a different feel to it, it really, really is great. And the reason for that is this little bad boy here is 3D printed. And um, it kind of, to me, it comes across as a kind of a different medium for our mods. I know there's a bunch of 3D printed mods out there already. I've even got, I made a, a, a three battery parallel one um, from, uh, from a, a very lovely man over in the States a couple of years ago now and that was 3d printed however this the tactility of this is crazy mix that up with the shape of it which is just super user friendly and uh, for me personally I think this is a fantastic little mod so before I gush anymore let's go down up close I'm going to show it to you in the up close hopefully you'll get an idea my brain's still not wired right from uh, all the flu stuff but I'm hopped up on Lemsip so let's give it a go shall we come on then Come on. All right, so here we are with the Etna DNA 75. Now we've got a few here because we've got something pretty cool to uh, to look at today. But uh, what I'm gonna do for just first off is show you that they come in these tubes, you get a kind of a, um, you've got a, a, a charging cable and, and data cable down the bottom there. And here, this gives you a full rundown of not only kind of how to use the uh, DNA 75 board, but also battery safety and all that good stuff. It's nice to see a whole bunch of information given in a mod of this kind that is essentially a, a, a kind of a privately built sort of job. Now, one of the things I wanted to show you on this one is because I've been lucky enough to be sent all three of these mods. Now, um, they all look sort of fairly similar to start with. However, we've got an evolution. This is kind of the first one the version two and the version three, whether it's, you know, how, if the, whatever, whatever they're numbered. But I can give you an idea about what he's done um, in order to improve his uh, his mods, which I think is really, really good. So if we look at the uh, the very first one, for instance, I popped a, uh, a red case on here for the time being because I think it looks kind of uh, starkling and, uh, and and funky. But uh, it's a it's a fairly straightforward. We'll look at all of the uh, the front end in a little while. But one of the things that happened was if I get the light right, you can see just kind of along this kind of line that you can kind of kind of get little flashes of being able to see through and there's gaps there and all that sort of stuff. So that was something that um, that they wanted to change. Now what happens is you just pull the uh, the battery or the battery sort of holder off if you like. You've got the plug going on the bottom there and the plug there. But there's other than that magnet at the top, not a great deal, and the magnets at the bottom of course, not a great deal kind of holding it together. So um, while it still felt pretty stable, um, just having those gaps there was a little bit of a nightmare. Um, for some people. So what happened then was uh, this version of the mod here. Now you can see that I've used this one very, very well indeed. Um, one of the other things on here as well with this one, we've got just a flat base going on and it's, it was quite difficult to uh, kind of grab hold of that bottom end of the uh, of the battery compartment to be able to pull it out. So uh, what, what he's gone through um, with this one is we've got this little cutout going on here so you can get your finger under there. But more importantly, if I can kind of move this around, you can see that even though this is obviously very, very worn, other than the right at the bottom here, we've got no kind of, there's no see-through aspect going on at all there. And the reason for that is what he's done is he's put kind of a rail that goes either side of the uh, of the board um, and also a couple of rails on top. What they do is they help uh, stabilize the the battery compartment when it's on. You can see that on the uh, on the, this sort of 
part of the battery compartment you've got the little runner there for where the rail goes down there down there and along the tops as well so what that means is that uh, when you go when you slide this on uh, not only does it take up any gaps but it is really 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 solid which is really really nice now then that brings us on to the final version which is this one right here um, so this is the one that I'm going to be using for the rest of the uh, uh, the rest of the review at the bottom here we've got kind of the imprinted in the uh, um, in the print there is the Jules Vapes Etna DNA 75 we've still got the cutout going on we've still got no kind of um, light getting through on any of those seams which I think is very very good and um, we've got this kind of funky little pattern going on on the uh, on the faceplate there as well now as I said in the intro this this material, yes, it's 3D printed, and yes, it's obviously 3D printed, but I like this. If you if you kind of try and relate this to a wood mod or a um, or a uh, uh, um, a metal mod, then it feels and looks different. But take it for what it is, and it's actually very, very, very tactile indeed. And I'm sure I'll repeat that when we go back up top again, but I'm a big, big fan of that. So obviously what we do is we take out that bottom section just there, very difficult to do when I'm on camera right what we'll do there you've got the battery positive and negative going on there telling you which way we've got the uh, battery to go in so we're going to use a 30Q for the time being oops let's get that uh, get that ribbon out of the way and in it goes so once we press this once the battery goes on there there we go Oops, and we are live. Now you can see that this one has the white button and the reason it's got this white button is because when you press it, um, it lights up. I don't you to, hopefully you can uh, can make that out nicely because obviously the DNA 75 board does have a little light going on under here. Now what they've got or what they've uh, attempted to do with this is have either a, uh, a little kind of hole underneath the button where when you press it you can see the light if you're straight on or um, or have one of these buttons that's slightly see-through so you can see that when you're pressing the button. Um, I still don't know why the Evolve people put the light on the DNA board, but they did, and it's there for a thing anyway. But um, it's nice to see that Jules Vapes have managed to uh, incorporate it into something looking pretty funky. Obviously, I think these buttons down here are maybe brass or something because they do they are patinering, which I think is good. Um, I think there may be anyway. I'm not going to go into that actually, um, <laughs> but uh, but no. As it is, it's nice and simple. This shape we've got going on here. That's a very tube V2 510 in there, by the way. Um, but this shape, I just think, is absolutely glorious. It really, really is. Now, one of the things that uh, that that uh, he did look at is or was a um, actually let me get the original one that I had one of the things he did look at was a, a battery kind of extender which was one of these big bad boys here so rather than having your normal size kind of battery case looking like so this is double the case so then you'd be putting sort of two batteries in and I don't know if he decided that he was going to go ahead with this or not I think maybe not but I kind of like the the almost art deco -y side of, of that kind of step down at the top but uh, like I say I don't think that is going to be an option whoops moving forward but uh, but yeah I mean what you can see here is you can see the two different types of of uh, print that he's gone for where we've increased the resolution this is the old one this is the new one um, and you can see that this one certainly has a lot more lines going down on it than uh, than this one does so the resolution on the newer the newer kit is much much nicer indeed um, and really really does look the tits now colors wise we've got red we've got oh dear make noises sorry for headphone users we've got green We've got blue and we've got this clear jobby going on here as well. Um, I think that's all the colours we've got going on at the moment, other than the sort of the carbon grey sort of colour that we're already looking at. Um, and these do feel sort of smoother than that carbon one. Uh, but I think they're all pretty standout kind of colours and uh, and all look pretty damn sweet. So anyway, that is the uh, that's uh, that's all the colours we've got to look at. 
Um, looking at the mod with a tank on it, just so you can see what we're looking at size-wise. I know we're going to be talking about this when we go back up top as well. But uh, this is something that I wanted to show you, which I thought was quite nice. This is a 24 mil tank going on the top of here, and we've still got nice plenty of space going on there. I think it fits on there quite nicely, and it looks pretty sweet as well. So um, everything kind of just, I think it just looks good, to be honest. And it's so, so, so comfortable. It really is. I really like it. Anyway, let's go back up top so we can have a little vape and uh, tell you a little bit more about it. So that was the up close and personal with the uh, the all three versions of the Etna uh, DNA seventy five. And like I said in the intro, and like I said in the up close, this is it's a different kind of thing. It's not going to be for everybody, but I think this is brilliant. I love the way it feels. Um, I think the shape of it is absolutely spot on for being really really comfortable. Um, even down to the faceplate here, um, even having slightly sort of chamfered edges where your hand goes. I think that. That's really, really cool indeed. I just like it, you know. It's not 100% perfect, but it's very, very close. It's a 3D printed mod at the end of the day, and I think it's cracking value for money. Plus, um, add to that the uh, the customization options that you've got. You can have a very inexpensively made, um, or sorry, inexpensively purchased um, quality little mod that just is a, is a little firecracker. It really, really is. Let me have a little vape at the moment. Obviously, it's a DNA 75, so I'm not going to go into the board. However, one thing that I will say, in fact, hang on, I'm going to vape. I got, I got excited then. <laughs> Now, one thing I will say about it is I think it's cool because if you want certain profiles programmed into this before you get it, say you're someone like me that has a Mac and it's an absolute pain in the ass to get onto things like uh, eScribe or any of that sort of jazz. Um, it can be a real dick to uh, to to get your customized settings into into a DNA board. Um, but what you can do is you can preference uh, various settings. I think you've got eight um, eight profiles that uh, that you can get set up, and uh, Jules Vapes will actually set all that up for you. So once you get your mod, it's good to go, which I think is absolutely superb. And I think that's a really nice and overlooked customizable option because there's a lot of people out there that don't want to around with eScribe that don't want or don't have, have the ability to use eScribe so having something like this which has had that work all done for you as well I think is absolutely tip top now um, I just locked it then why did I lock it I don't know Like I said in the up close, it's cool to be able to put a 24 mil. I mean, I was rocking a bunch of the 24 mil with Tofo stuff on here, and had no problem with it whatsoever. This is the uh, this is that Advocan tank that I was looking at yesterday in the uh, in the vlog, which is actually working really really well. Anyway, going back to the mod itself, I think it's really well made. I like the customizable options. I like the fact that if I want to uh, take this battery compartment off and I want to zhuzh it up with a uh, with a with a different color, we can do that, and that's no big licks. That's kind of you know instantly changes what you've got obviously you've got the different color options for the front section as well so you can choose it to look exactly how you want it to look which I think is very very cool so let's have a little look at price shall we now then <clears throat> um, I would expect this to be quite an expensive mod because of the customizable options and all that sort of stuff but what um, Mark Stern at Jules Vapes excuse me <coughs> What's Mark Mark's doing at Jules Vapes, which I think is very, very cool, is he's giving you a bunch of options. And this is going to be because it's going to be relevant to how soon, how urgently you want this mod, um, is to, because it's obviously putting more workload on him, um, into how much you pay, which I think is a really, really good idea. So what you've got is this starts off, um, he's, he's called them kind of funky little names here general admittance the jeep seats you'll have it in your hand within 28 days now that's 75 quid 75 quid for a 3d printed dna um, 75 device that is 
hugely customizable and i'll go through some of those options in a little while we've got reserved seating with the rabble but have to wait which is delivery within 21 days on the guest list delivery in 14 days and vip um all areas or want it straight away we'll have it to you within seven days that's 90 quid so um you know a difference between 75 and 90 quid is not that much and it just helps kind of i guess it helps him prioritize what needs to go out and when it needs to go out and it also keeps you the consumer happy as well which i think is very very cool so yeah i mean i think yes you can obviously see the scene going on in here but it's a little corker i got, I got sidetracked again <laughs> so we've got the uh, we've got the we've got some different um we've got some different textures you can go for as well this is the 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 raw where it shows the print lines and uh, and like i showed you before you know you are going to see a little bit of that um there's the green one there and it looks very funky doesn't it um but this higher resolution that he's using now is is makes it look a lot less kind of in your face if i think if i if if that makes any sense at all um if i can show you this one this is one of the original battery cases um and you can see those lines a lot more in that one because it's a lot lower resolution print um however what he's doing is he is also doing other um other kind of textures as well so you've got something like kind of this kind of vibe going on which is all a little bit funky i imagine this is the snake skin i think i think that's the snake skin one um we've also got one called printed dimples which is that that's the uh, that's the effect that you're going to get from that which reminds me of lego which i think is quite cool but they're is it hexagons whatever they are <laughs> funky little shapes going on there as well so you've got a, you've got some different sort of visual options and and textile sort of textile textures kind of options going on there um buttons you can go for stainless steel ice white so that's this one where you can see that the uh, the whole thing light up there um carbon gray petrol blue jet black chelsea blue brass pearl green vibrant red and dusty pink so that is a lot of options straight off the back um charging and firing led you can choose to have that um visible or not um whether you have the little hole under the fire button so you can see the led uh, all that sort of stuff you can choose 501 style so the uh, the 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 <laughs> I think that's supposed to be 510 style rather than 501 style. Um, <laughs> the 510 style on there is going to be black smooth, black slotted, stainless smooth or stainless slotted. Um, display, you can have it. This is where we start getting into the pre-programmed stuff. So you can have it onto the right or to the left. And then you've got those eight profiles you can choose from. So you can go for, for your NI200, three lots of titanium, two lots of stainless, um, NIFE 30, Power Mode, Nichrome 80, Canthal A1, or whatever you define. So um, those are the options that you're going to be able to get kind of programmed into the unit before you get it, which I think is great. And also with batteries as well. I mean, on the site there, it's got LG HG2s, Samsung 30Qs, VTC4, VTC5, and 25Rs. So you can have the, the a brand new battery added to that and have the the um have, have the all of the the mar and what have you sorted out in the board when you get it for that particular battery which i think is a really 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 good idea um you get to choose whether you have the extra charging lead or not um and it just it, i think it's just a really spectacular level of options for under 100 quid which is brilliant i think it's superb So all in all, ladies and gentlemen, there's not a massive amount I can t talk to you about this one. It's a DNA 75. We know what a DNA 75 does. Um, um, if not, go and check out Phil Basado, and um, and he's got a brilliant uh, a brilliant video on the DNA 75 board and how it works and all that sort of good stuff. But uh, but yeah, I mean. <laughs> I think uh, this has been a solid one for me. If I saw you at Vape Fest this year, I was probably vaping on uh, on this. Um, in fact, if I see, I've, I've seen you for anything in the last pff, 
four months maybe I think you've probably seen me with one of the versions of this in my hand because I think it's really comfortable it's really tactile and I just really really do like using it sure it's not the shortest it's certainly not the shortest if I compare it to um, if I compare it to the uh, the the Therian that a lot of people are aware of now, sure, it's taller than that. However, if I compare it to the uh, the other DNA seventy five that I've looked at recently, the Lost Vape Scar, it's you know taller than that as well. So. Um, you know, it's it it's gonna be a tall-ish device, but once again, if it it fits in the hand, it's just a full hand grip and finger fire or thumb fire, and it's a winner. Now, I really like I really like devices from nice people. I really like uh, I really like it when the mod maker is a good egg. You know that does great customer service and also uh, produces a, a good quality product at a good price um, that's why I, I like a sort of a whole bunch of things that I've reviewed in the past but um, that's also one of the reasons why I, I like this because I think Mark's a great guy I think I think uh, if you have any questions any queries he'll go above and beyond to make sure that you as a customer are happy and um, I think that's that you can't buy that these days. I think that's absolutely superb. So I think that's probably enough of a gush. It's like I say, it's not going to be for everybody, but uh, but for those of you that kind of dig this kind of idea, whether it be for a work beta mod or whether it be for um, something that you're sort of proud and comfortable and, and happy to carry around with you all the time, then I think it ticks a lot of boxes for a lot of people. But it is kind of a textured kind of feel. This carbon finish is um, is the most kind of almost fabricy one if that makes sense um, the uh, the the other ones are more of a kind of a, a normal sort of classic sort of smooth ish um, 3d printed sort of vibe going on in there so um, yeah it's a little this this is a kind of a little bit more of a classic so that is a little bit smoother I mean I think I showed you that a little while ago comparing the two of them um, yeah anyway don't really know what I was trying to point out there. I just like using them. I really do. So I'm going to put all the details down below. Or I'll put the link to the Jules Vapes website. Uh, once again, great to see it coming out of the UK. I'm really looking forward to seeing what these guys come up with, with other ideas and other designs. Uh, I was having a chat with Mark at uh, Vapor Expo, and um, he... <laughs> He, he's got a couple of wacky designs and a couple of just really cool ones coming forward as well I think so I'm looking forward to seeing what comes out of there and uh, it's just brilliant to see something this much fun and this this good um, and this affordable coming out of the UK I don't think I can say any more than that. So thank you very, very much for watching. I've been Dean the Vaping Biker. This has been the Etna 75, DNA 75 from Jules Vapes. As I said, link down below, go and check it out. And if you're looking for a very affordable DNA 75 that can be customized to your particular um, fancies, then uh, go and check them out. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Have it very large.